What's going on Frame Fam? Welcome back to the channel for another tech news update. Before we get started, I want you all to take everything I'm about to say with a huge grain of salt. Nothing mentioned in this video is confirmed by AMD, and until it is, it's always healthy to tamper expectations. That being said, today I have new information and leaks specifically pertaining towards AMD's next-gen RDNA 2 entry-level GPUs that has had little information to create content on until recently. If you watched one of my recent videos on the Navi 22 series, series of AMD GPUs, you'll remember that all of the leaks that helped me create that video came to light through a Redditor named Stumbler, who discovered firmware for AMD's RDNA 2 GPUs in the Linux kernel following the Rock M 3.8 update. This update revealed some basic specs for all three of AMD's codename GPUs many of us have been speculating on for some time now. Now for those who are unaware, AMD's RDNA 2 entry-level GPUs fall under the Navi 23 property with the codename Dim Grey Kfish. In terms of performance, this leak reveals to us that the Navi 23 series of GPUs will likely max out at 32 CUs, providing around 2,048 stream processors, and will work their way down the line of the more affordable models while providing between 6 to 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM respectively. When we include the performance boost granted by RDNA 2 over RDNA 1, it's easy to guess that this would give the top of the Navi 23 line GPUs the performance level of an RX 5700 non-XT, or maybe even a little bit more, for what we can assume would be a price tag topping out somewhere in the $200 range. We can guess this price point after insiders indicated that after Nvidia's conference earlier in September, AMD had to rethink their pricing of the Navi 21 line of GPUs, aka the RX 6900 XT and RX 6800 XT, which caused a lot of talk about a possible $400 to $550 price tag for AMD's flagship GPUs, and will of course place the Navi 22 GPUs in the next price tier downwards, and then the Navi 23 GPUs will follow suit from there. Now, it's unknown at this time exactly how many SKUs will release for the Navi 23 line, but it has been rumored that Navi 21 will host four SKUs, the aforementioned RX 6900 XT and RX 6800 XT, with the possibility of an RX 6900 and 6800 non-XT versions releasing as well, along with two SKUs for the Navi 22 line, such as the RX 6700 XT and RX 6700. If we continue the trend downwards, and were to take a guess based off the usual naming AMD did with RX RDNA 1, along with insider rumors, we may see an RX 6600 XT, 6500 XT, and maybe even an RX 6500 non-XT GPU family for Navi 23. If this ends up being the case, then these two or three GPUs would compete with Nvidia's unannounced, but rumored, RTX 3050, 3050 Ti, and the RTX 3060 GPUs, and will provide likewise bang for your buck options for Team Red. I personally hope this ends up being the case, as more options people can pick from that provide great levels of performance for lower costs is a win for everyone in my book. But I want to know what you all think about this. Would a structure I mentioned along with the rumors and leaks so far make sense and be a good thing, or do you think there is a disconnect somewhere with AMD this year? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to reply to them as quickly as I can. Anyway guys, that's all I have to update you on today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button as it really helps you to show this video off to others who might enjoy it as well. As always, family, it's been a pleasure. Please stay safe, stay happy, and keep on gaming.